Hello, friends. Bill back again. This week's vlog is all about lead generation. Lead generation is something that's near and dear to my heart. I love talking about it. I love implementing lead gen campaigns. I love everything that has to go into the planning and the creation and implementation of lead generation magnets and creating the ads and the landing pages. Just the whole process is just competitive and exhilarating uh, when implemented correctly. So I'm going to have a lot of fun talking about lead generation today. Now, the first thing to understand uh, when we're implementing a lead generation strategy is this is not a one and done type process. This process doesn't end with the lead. It's actually right where it begins. To generate a lead is one thing. To nurture that lead and turn it into business is something entirely different. And that's what we're going to talk about today. So the first thing we need to understand is generation of leads is really important. And the reason it is, is if we were to engage in a, in a traditional advertising effort, whether that be billboard, radio, TV, print, what have you, traditional advertising, advertising, 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s, early, early 2000s. What we would be banking on is that when our message fell upon the right eyes at the right time, those people would come in and do business with us. The challenge is not everybody who is exposed to our message is ready to do business with us right now. And you can drastically increase your return on investment if you take note of the fact that the buying cycle for most products and services is 12 to 18 months. So depending on where you caught them, for example, let's just say that you're a magician and you put an ad out for a magic show that you love to do at children's parties. And let's just say that I saw this ad on October 1st. Well, my son's birthday is September 28th. So the planning for his birthday party was done by my wife and I most likely well in advance of that date. So if I see that ad for that magician, even if I think it's an outstanding idea, I'm not going to need a magician till either my son Carter or my son Cole's birthday party for which I'm planning in the future. So let's just say, for example, I think having a magician at a child party is a great idea, but I just booked a party. I don't have another party for, let's say, five or six months down the road. Well, unless the magician, let's just say Harold, let's just say Harold the magician, if he doesn't stay top of mind for me, when the time comes for me to book Carter's party in May, I may still remember that a magician's a good idea, but I might not remember Harold. And let's say Carter doesn't want a magician at his party, but Cole does. That's another six or seven months from that date. So now a full year has gone by. And I still might not remember Harold. So Harold's ad might have sold me or impressed upon me how great of an idea it would, it would be to have a magician at my children's birthday party. But I might go back to Google and search birthday party mag uh, magician and find someone other than Harold. So lead generation is a process that is engaged not once, but continuously over time. The art of attracting and, and getting a lead there are multiple stages of this process. First, the impression. We create an ad, we do a billboard, direct mail, TV, radio, print, social media, Google, internet ads, placement ads, display ads, what have you. That's the first, that's the disruptor, that's the hook, that's what we start with, that's the ad. Now, what do we offer someone in exchange for their information, their name, their email address, their mobile phone, their home address? Well, it has to be a value. It has to be something that's that's instantly a value, that's, that's implementable, that provides the user or the audience with something that they need, a quick win. That's called a lead magnet. For example, I was doing some research today. I stumbled upon a website. On that website, there was a pop-up in the corner. It said, free social media templates. Well, for the website for its audience that was ideal because it was a free social media template that was geared towards healthcare practices that were clearly growth minded and brand aware and it's providing them with a quick win here are some social media templates you can Im implement right away take all your social media content calendar um, anxiety off your plate 
So that's an idea of a quick win of a lead magnet. In exchange for that social media, those that collection of social media templates, I was asked to enter my name, email, and work phone. So that's an idea of a lead magnet. Now, let's say I use those social media templates. I think the, this company that provided them for me are great. They now have my name and email address, just like Harold the Magician, who may come up with uh, 15 amazingly awesome uh, ideas for children's birthday parties. I may want to download that, that list for me and my two children to plan the birthday parties with my wife going forward. And I may give in exchange for that list, my name, email address, and mobile phone, let's say. Well, now there's an opportunity to nurture that lead. The reason the nurturing process is so important is, as I've said, what if I'm not in the market for that magician or that uh, digital marketing service or that healthcare uh, patient experience training at the moment? Well, by you having the opportunity to love on me over time and continually build value and stay top of mind and in my inbox, now when the time comes up where it's appropriate for me to engage in that conversation, I'm not going to Google. I'm recognizing and remembering the content that you've been giving me over the past two, three, four, six, 12, 24 months. So I know exactly who to go to. If my child needs a musician, a magician, I'm going directly to Harold. If I need digital marketing ser services, I'm going directly to Reputation Sensei or Digital Media Nation. These are things that we know because we've stayed top of mind. While we're going through this generation process, which starts with a with an ad, and then there's a lead magnet in exchange for some personal information, then there's the opportunity to nurture them with high value content over time, similar to this content right now I'm giving you. My, F, my intent is that I stay top of mind. I provide you with some information, inspiration, perhaps some influence. So when the circumstance comes to pass that you need to have a conversation or a consultation or a brainstorming exercise on, on how you can grow business next quarter, next year, uh, next decade, uh, you'll think of Bill and his team at Reputation Sensei by Digital Media Nation. That's the purpose, okay? So lead generation first starts with a lead magnet and an ad and an opportunity to gather information. But then there's that process of nurturing that lead over time. The nurturing phase, the marketing automation, the, the client relationship management or prospect relationship management that goes into lead generation is what allows this process to produce a 36 to one return on investment on average. Uh, it is the single greatest way you can go from impression to connection, to influence, and ultimately conversion, sale, or opportunity. Uh, this is what works today. And the reason it works, and it works so great, is a very small percentage of people are interested or able to do business with you the moment they're impressed upon by your message. But if you're able to stay top of mind, you're able to continue to build relationship, you're able to continue to build value and continue to show your credibility and your relatability and, and all the social proof, uh, which, which is to say all the people you're currently doing business with and all the accreditations you have and all the press and everyone saying how great you are. It's only a matter of time but, uh, from, from the moment you've met them till the time when they're ready uh, and able to do business with you, they're not gonna think of anybody but you lead generation, list building, marketing automation, and lead nurturing, in my opinion, uh, the difference between success and failure in 2022 and beyond. This works for all businesses, no one more so than the specialty healthcare market, home services, personal professional services, legal, accounting, uh, aesthetics, hair, tan, net, whatever. If, if you're looking to do business uh, with an individual uh, on their person, within their business, or on their home, uh, this is the type of operation that works today. And it works at a tremendous uh, return on investment multiple. Uh, once again, this is Bill Courtright with Reputation Sensei by Digital Media Nation. We're talking lead generation, lead nurturing and marketing automation today. Uh, if you'd like to have a conversation, I'd love to have it with you. Just click the link below, speak with a specialist, reply to this email, talk to me directly. I'd be more than happy to, to be at your service. Uh, thanks again, and we'll talk to you soon.